Hi there. Today we're breaking down how to find electrical shorts in your home. In this video, we're gonna cover a few things. First, warning signs of electric shorts. Next, the tools you'll need. Third, a step-by-step -step guide to find the short. And fourth, how to prevent future electrical issues in your home. Let's jump in. Some signs you may have shorts in your home are flickering lights, things around the home turning off on their own, like TVs, fans, or the vacuum cleaner. Uh, you may have weird smells like burning plastic. Some people even say the smell of fish. Uh, if your AC kicks on and you notice your lights dim, those could all be big signs of an electrical issue. So the first step we're gonna do is head over to the electrical panel and check for any trip breakers. If you do have a circuit that is not providing power, the first step would be to locate the circuit, turn that breaker off completely, and then turn it on. Quite often, if you have a tripped breaker, it may not fully show that it's tripped. And turning it off to the complete off position and then turning it all the way on may fix the problem. So if this is a circuit that has no power or is the circuit in, in question, turning it off completely will reset any tripped breaker and completely turning it back on. After doing that, you wanna go inside and check to see if you have power. If you still don't have power after that, it's a good idea to call a licensed electrician. Here I have a few different tools that you can use for testing for electrical power. Highly recommended, a plug tester. This here will, will fit your receptacles and it also gives a readout of the voltage that's coming out of your receptacle. A multimeter, I don't recommend using a multimeter unless you're well versed in electrical. Uh, multimeters can very, be very tricky. Also, you're sticking metal parts directly into live receptacles. It's a little bit more dangerous using a multimeter. If you're new to electrical or don't work on things very often, just a simple plug tester with a voltage readout is the best. For the sake of this video and for your safety, we're gonna continue using this. All right, now that we've reset the circuit breaker, we're gonna go inside and test for power. I'm gonna use the outlet tester. On the outlet tester, I have a readout of voltage. So if the circuit is working, I should get a green light. If I get anything other than a green light, for instance, the red light that's right next to it, then there's definitely something wrong with the circuit and you should turn the breaker off immediately. On the circuit tester, there's a voltage reading. It says 120 volts. It may read 121, 122, 124. Anything below 119 volts is a serious electrical short. You may have melted components in your electrical system and it's a good idea to turn the breaker off immediately and call an electrician. If resetting your circuit breaker restores power to the circuit and you test for voltage and the voltage shows correct, then you most likely have fixed the issue. If a circuit breaker trips one time and it's likely because of too many things plugged into the circuit, then it sounds like your circuit's in good condition. If you continually trip a circuit breaker, you most likely have a very serious issue that needs to be addressed. I would recommend calling an electrician who's licensed and insured and have them inspect the electrical system. To prevent electrical issues in your home, uh, some of the best things to do is ensure that your electrical panel is uh, well maintained. Old circuit breakers often will cause damage to an electrical panel. Here in Arizona, the heat degenerates or degrades the breakers. Uh, they make poor contact with the electrical components inside. I will often find burnt out electrical panels due to very old circuit breakers. Uh, not everywhere in the U.S. is this an issue. I often recommend that after 15 years of uh, circuit breakers being used, uh, that they should be changed out within your electrical panel. Uh, going past 20 years of life on a circuit breaker is really kind of pushing it. Uh, you definitely are, are operating on borrowed time. Keeping your electrical panel cool, uh, keeping the door closed and free of dirt and debris are all really good ideas to do to keep your home in good shape and, and running like you want it to. All right, if you're in Arizona and need help, call Parker and Sons. We'll send a technician your way to help with any electrical needs you may have. Thanks for watching.
This video is for educational purposes only. Working with electricity can be dangerous. Attempt any repairs at your own risk. If you're unsure, call a qualified electrician. Parker & Sons is not responsible for any injuries or damages resulting from DIY electrical work.